It's uh, Mark Schatz, Brian McDowell. They are here this morning on WNCW. Your instruments are sounding good. Let's hear another one. All right. Brian, tell them about this. Yeah, we got a new medley. I'm not, uh, well, I guess the second song in this medley is, uh, has been named, and we've recorded it. We went into the Mark's Basement studio earlier this year and uh, worked on this. This That second tune is called Gravely Bit the Farmall, or Gravely Bit the Farmall, sorry. Get your, get your farm get, equipment right yeah, here. Yeah, I should know. I grew up with it. My dad had a Gravely. Um, so, and then the first tune is just kind of something that, that we're, that, uh, that we're getting to work on. Okay. And maybe it'll eventually have some lyrics, but it's nice to start playing it and it kind of works well. That Brian just recently taught Mark, so let's see if I can uh, remember <laughs> all these wonderful chords. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. A A B A. A A B A. Okay. Thank you. Two, three, four. Thank you. 
That's fun. <laughs> That's Brian McDowell and Mark Schatz on WNCW. What a slick transition between those and that medley there. Just perfect. So, Mr. Thank Schatz, yeah, flawless just... with and without the bow there. Just Oh, thank you. And We've having been, just learned it, too. Enjoying doing that one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a medley with, with maybe some, some lyrics in the works as yet uh, undecided lyrics and, and names and such. You could do something with that gravely gravelly combo or paradox. Gravely. You know, I worked that in there. Being a, being a city boy from Boston, when he sent me, the, sent me the, the new tune with the name on it, I said, Gravelly. Gravelly bit the farm <laughs> off. What is that about? And then he said, Hey, this is farm equipment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Marky from Boston. Uh, so gravely bit the farm all, is that right? Bit yes, the yes. Uh, Good visual. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a... Uh, yeah, I guess I can talk about this. Uh, Mark, you know the tune Spider Bit the Baby, the fiddle tune? Uh, Spider, yes, I think it's a Kenny that. Baker tune. Yeah. Maybe it's older than Kenny Baker. Well, anyway, he certainly did the, it well, yeah. The word structure there. Kind Spider of Bit the Baby. You know, that reminds me of a, uh, a saying that I learned from a guy named Robert Dotson. He was an incredible flat footer. Uh, he lived in Sugar Grove, North Carolina, just outside of Boone. And uh, my late wife, Eileen, and her dance cohorts, Rodney Sutton, another local kind of legend, colorful legend around in yeah. this area, met him way back down to Slagle's Pasture, which I guess was a place they did a lot of country music and dancing and stuff. And uh, uh, I didn't used to call him the, the Paul Newman, the Appalachian Paul Newman, because he had these sparkly, Blue eyes, and, uh, and he was this character of a guy. Anyways, he had a great expression, which was, uh, get the hammer, Maggie, there's a fly on the baby's head. <laughs> I thought, whoa. <laughs> uh, interesting, colorful stuff. Yeah, yeah, it makes you wonder, where do those phrases come from, from a mountain lore? Where do some of the names of these great old-time tunes and bluegrass tunes come from? It's a, it's a wonderful <laughs> tradition, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> 